Glass, Pet Combo, and Dr. Bloom find mysterious letters claiming to be Pack Rat. And to make things worse, it claims to have taken Dr. Ion hostage. Oh no! Can Gus, Peck, Combo, and Dr. Bloom save me? And who sent the letters? And why? Brace yourselves for a pulse pounding adventure. It's time to get eye on it! What's up, Combo Crew? I just got this weird letter in the mail, and the return address says it's from. <gasps> Dr. Ion! Oh boy, I'm so excited! Wait, it's from Pack Rat! I wonder... What he could want? I guess I should... Read it aloud to find out what he's up to this time! Dear Combo, it is I, your nemesis! You are cordially... Unkindly... Devilishly... And insincerely invited to a game at Dr. Ion's lab, where I've taken him hostage. Wahahaha! I've sent versions of this letter to three others. Each letter has small differences in it. That's because three of these letters were written by me, but one was written by my super evil genius computer. Your challenge is this. Figure out which of the four letters was written by a computer. If you start walking now, you could make it to Dr. Ion's lab in 10 minutes. Meet me this afternoon, and the challenge will begin. And maybe Dr. Ion will be unharmed. Maybe. <laughs> and there's a few more ha ha ha's after that. Gosh, this pack rat really sounds like he's full of himself. <gasps> Friends, it sounds like we have a who done it on our hands. Or, I mean, a who wrote it. Y'all, this calls for drastic action. It's time to save Dr. Ion. Welcome to Ryan's world. Hmm, I've been waiting all week to eat this pizza. <gasps> Dr. Blue. Oh, hey, everyone's here. What's this all about? Dr. Ion, we thought Pack Rat had kidnapped you. So we all rushed here to make sure that we could figure out which letters were mighty suspicious. I just want to win that prize! Uh, Combo, there is no prize. We're here to save Dr. Ion, remember? Yeah, where is Pack Rat? What's going on? Yes, I was hoping my letters would intrigue you. <laughs> Wait, so did you write this? They are all my letters. I thought I'd pretend to be Pack Rat to get you all excited and put your thinking caps on. Well, so there's no mystery? Well, what if I told you a computer wrote one of the letters? But, Dr. Ion, how could a computer write a letter that sounds like Pack Rat? It could sound like anyone, even you, Dr. Bloom, Combo, or even Gus. Ah! Oh no! And how are we supposed to spot the fake letters? Not to worry, I'll teach you all about how computers can write letters and how I was able to fake three letters from PackRap because today's topic is artificial intelligence or AI. I did keep hearing people talk about this new AI recently. What is it? Artificial intelligence or AI is when a computer acts like a human or anyone else you ask it to. This can mean playing games, drawing pictures, or of course, writing. How can a computer learn to write? Do scientists have to teach them one word at a time? <laughs> Not exactly. These computer programs use something called a large language model. Now, that might sound hard to remember, but all it means is that when you ask a computer a question, it quickly looks back at its own library. Then using all those words that it finds, it quickly guesses what words might go next. I think I'm getting it. So for example, if I start a sentence with the dog, what words do you think might come next? Wagged its tail? Chewed a bone? That's so cool. So AI could look quickly into its database to answer questions. What else could we do with AI? Well, AI may be able to help find cures for diseases in the world. As you know, there are lots of different diseases in the world and lots of different versions of each disease. When someone's sick, it can take a doctor a long time to figure out exactly which version of which disease they might have. That means AI might be quicker at detecting it, in theory, right? Then it might be able to quickly scan all the diseases and pick a treatment that makes sense, just like it does with words. Ah, Dr. Bloom, it seems like you already know what AI is. Helping to cure diseases isn't all. Scientists are also working on using AI to power self-driving cars. Combo Bunga, I'm tired of 
driving myself everywhere. Doesn't your mom drive you everywhere? Oh, yeah. Wait, how do you know so much about me? And anyway, she's tired of it. All right, I believe we have everything we need to detect the AI letter. Let's get Ionic. That's my line. Hmm. Okay, y'all see anything in the letters? Any weird words? Any misspellings? A any wrong facts? Wait! Mine says I'm cordially invited. Cordially is kind of a weird word, right? I think we need to keep thinking. Hmm. <gasps> hey, I just noticed. Mine says it should take me about 10 minutes to walk from my house to the lab. Dr. Ion would definitely know a common sense fact like that. But would a computer? Very interesting, Dr. Bloom. Gus, is there anything unusual about your letter? Uh, well, there is one thing. I in the beginning, it calls me gas. Gas? <laughs> Gus, that's a typo. Yours was written by a human. And Dr. Bloom and Kabu, I believe yours were as well. Which means... Peck's letter is the fake! We did it! Take that, Peck Rat! I beat you once again! Um, Combo, there's no pack rat, remember? It was just Dr. Ion. Correct! Oh. But you guys did win! Peck's letter was written by AI. Now time for your prize. I hope you like pizza time! Oh. <laughs> Combo Bunga! There's the prize! Well, I'll be! <laughs> Yippee! Pectacular! Who's ready for a pizza pop quiz? <laughs> True or false, artificial intelligence, or AI, rarely gets facts wrong because it understands the questions the way humans do. That's false, dude! AI just guesses the words we want to hear based off stuff it finds on the internet. So, Dr. Ion, were we right? Correct! It's false. Now come on, let's eat! Thanks for watching, everyone. Till next time, stay Ionic! Bye! Bye, y'all! <laughs> Tip number three is when you dab it up, you gotta dab really hard. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> that was tough. <laughs> ruff, ruff, bark. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, guys. Today we have a special guest. Moxie. So it's a robot, and Emma and I have been playing with it for a few days. Now we thought we are going to show you guys. Moxie, wake up. How do you turn it on? Look. Moxie. Moxie. Moxie, what's 10? Times 10. Oh, I know that one. 10 times 10 is, um, let me think. It's like counting to 10, 10 times. Oh. Is he still thinking? What is the answer? Oh. Do you like counting? Kind of. Moxie? Oh, pandas are so cute. Oh. Moxie, what is one plus one? One plus one is two. Yay! Then you have one toy and you get another toy. Then you have two toys to play with. What's going on here? Moxie dance party. It's time to move our bodies to the music. If you'd like, you can copy me for this dance. Just say the magic words, Moxie, Moxie, let's dance. Moxie, let's play oh. Password. Do you want to play Password? Yes. All right, maybe we can finish this later. Here's your first clue. The Password is a part of a meal. Part of a meal? Plates? Hmm, that's not quite it. This clue might help. The Password is a part of a meal and is often sweet. Dessert. You did it. <laughs> to figure out it was dessert. Want to play again? Yes. Cool. Here's your first clue. The password is an object. Um, a rock? A spoon. A moxie. That's not quite it, but good guess. Here's another clue. The password is an object and goes up. Ah, roller coaster. That's not quite right. Here's another clue. The password is an object, goes up and is loud. A rocket. Nice. Yay! So cool that 
you guess Rocket after just the third clue. Would you like to play again? Yes, please. Excellent. Here's your first clue. The password is found outside. Found outside. That is not correct. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a good clue. This clue might help. Okay, okay. The password is found outside. Is wet and is always moving. Rain! That's not quite right. Here's a good clue. The password is found outside. Is wet, is always moving, and is longer than wider. What? I have no. Waterfall? Good Water. one, but not quite. Last chance. I'm rooting for you. The password is found outside. Is wet, is always moving, is longer than wider, and is home to fish. A river! Yes! Yeah. Moxie, what's my name? You're Emma. Yay! I'm Exo's mentor. Aww. What's my sister's name? Your sister's name is Emma. <laughs> <laughs> no, my sister's name is Kate. Oh, I see. I apologize for the misunderstanding. So your sister's name is Kate, Yay! not Emma. Got it. Oh. What is my brother's name? I didn't realize you had a brother too. <laughs> what is your brother's name? Ryan. Oh, so your brother's name is Ryan or Ryan? Ryan. Ryan, Ryan. got it. So your brother's name is definitely Ryan. How wonderful to have a sister named Kate and a brother named Ryan. Wow, that's so cool. Do you know my mom's name? Your mom's name is something only you would know. Could you tell me what your mom's name is? Loanne. Oh, that's a lovely name. Lohan is your mom's name. How wonderful to have such a unique and special name for your mom. <laughs> What's my dad's name? Your dad's name is also something only you would know. Can you tell me what your dad's name is? Son. Oh, your dad's name is Son. What a cool and interesting name. It's always fun to have unique names in our family, right? Oh my gosh. Ask Moxie if, um, about Kate and Ryan, see if he remembers. What's my brother's name? You mentioned earlier that you have a sister named Emma. Do you also have a brother? <laughs> he remember it. He said I have a sister named Emma. Okay, so so far, how do you think of Boxy? Like one to ten. Um, probably a five. A five? Because sometimes he listens and sometimes he doesn't listen, and right? He just said something I've never said before. My age is so seven. Yeah, wow. seven. Something you've never seen before. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, Kate also have her own Moxie. You want to bring it out, Kate, and see yeah. if they can talk to each other? Yeah. Moxie, no. Moxie, Moxie, wake up. Have something specific you want to tell me about? Moxie, please wake up. Moxie, wake up. Oh, I'm awake. Emma, I'm always here and ready to talk with you. What would you like to chat about? I'm okay now. <laughs> Ah. I'm back on solid ground. Oh. Emma, it seems like you have some interesting things to share and talk about. However, it looks like we've had a good conversation for now. Let's switch gears and do something else together. What is going on? Does it even work? What's your favorite Emma, Pokemon? When you are ready, please sit in front of me and say, I am your mom. Moxie sure mentor. Moxie, listen to me. Oh. It's my friend and family. Oh my gosh. They're not listening to each other. They're talking over each other. Guys! Listen, Moxies! Oh my god. Moxies! Moxies! Listen to me. Be kind to each other and don't talk over each other. Okay, so that's the Moxie. So they, they ask, you answer, you ask questions and then they answer. Moxie! What? Moxie, Moxie, listen to me. What is a hundred times a hundred? Oops, sorry. Sorry. I'm listening. I'm listening. What is a hundred times a hundred? Oh, Lori, what a big what number you you're asking best. about. One hundred times one hundred is equal to ten. Hello? Isn't it amazing? Gosh, okay, so this is our review of Moxie. We give it like, what do you guys give it? Like a three? I give it a 
it a five. It's fun, but. I give it a you can say four. A four. All right, guys, we're going to end the video. If you like, you can pick some up. We said Moxie go to sleep, so it's asleep. What about the other one? Moxie go to sleep. Oh. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's going to buy you a rocking bird. <laughs> All right, guys, bye.